And this is the first phone with an actual game controller on it and uh, it's something that we're really excited about. The Sony Ericsson Xperia Play utilizes the classic Sony PlayStation controls. We have a four-way directional pad, two analog controls that kind of look like a pair of... you filled in the blanks. Uh, we have the triangle, circle, cross, and square button configuration. Start, select, there's a menu button, and we even have left and right shoulder controls. Now we'll get to the gaming aspect in the tour, but for now let's talk about the rest of this phone's specs. It's running Android 2.3 Gingerbread, and uh, the interface is great. That's what we saw on the Nexus S and the Nexus S 4G. This phone has a 4-inch FW VGA screen. We found the resolution to be great. The speed of this phone is excellent thanks to the 1 GHz Snapdragon processor with advanced GPU, and it also has 512 megabytes of RAM. Storage was a little on the light side for this phone. It has an 8 GB micro SD card included, no internal storage. So, for the gamer, we think we need a little bit more, probably like 16 GB. Design wise, the Play is a very sleek phone. It features a curved backside and chrome accents along the sides. Also, this phone slides out very smoothly and just kind of snaps into place, just unsheathing your game controls with utmost precision. For battery we have a 1500 milliamp pack and we also have a 5 megapixel camera in back with LED flash. No HD video. Let's address a few things before we head into the tour for some hot gaming action with the play. First of all, call quality was good. It wasn't as good as the best Verizon phones that we've heard this year but it's certainly better than many phones. Calls were clear and crisp. We didn't have any dropped calls, just a slight hiss in the background. Also, battery life was pretty darn good. Um, it's acclaimed six hours for talk and five for gaming. We got more along the lines of like four and three. Um, it will go for a while, but um, if you play gaming continuously, which is what we did on this thing, it will start to get really hot. So um, you'll definitely need to kind of just take breaks and uh, give it some charges throughout the day. When it came to camera and image quality, really nothing special, um, lackluster performance. This camera has 800 by 480 video resolution recording and that's kind of peculiar. Don't expect anything special out of this phone when it comes to the camera. Obviously Sony concentrated most of its time and effort into the gaming aspect of the play and that's something we're going to check out right now. Alright, here we are hands on with the world's first game controller phone. Let's pop this bad boy out here. There are our controls and we go right to the Xperia Play um, application here. These are the games that are preloaded on it. We have Asphalt 6, there's also Bruce Lee, oh I can control with the D-pad. Uh, we also get, come on, there we go, Crash Bandicoot, I actually downloaded Hockey Nations, Madden 11, we get Star Battalion and Sims 3. So six games preloaded on the phone, that is pretty good. Let's go over to Bruce Lee. As you can see, I'm a bit of a button masher when it comes to fighting games, but uh, it works as I just kick that guy's ass. Graphics wise, you can see we're kind of um, late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, PC kind of graphics, so that's what you're gonna have, to have on this phone. Can be a beach. One thing about this phone is that the sound is unbelievable. It is probably the loudest phone I've ever reviewed. I mean, that is insane. Oh, I'm totally slacking here. This is Asphalt 6, and uh, gosh, I suck. Oh, there we go, the D-pad. Boy, what a fun review. Just playing games the whole time? I don't mind it at all. Uh, this is good. This is a good game. I like it, it's fun. Yeah, Power Pods. Okay, and this is Star Battalion. Um, you can use the analog controls, but really they're not, they're not as sensitive as they should be. Primary laser weapon. 
This is an example of where the analog controls just really fail. They're just, they're not as responsive, uh, really. I preferred the D-pad, but always have since the Nintendo days. Now I'm just going to briefly go over the rest of the phone. This is where you can get more games, the Xperia Play Store. There's Guitar Hero, which is pointless on a portable device, really. Uh, Dungeon Defenders, Age of Zombies, Assassin's Creed, that's going to be popular with you guys. And typical Android 2.3 Gingerbread. It's pretty awesome. Uh, as we showed you some B-roll of the uh, text input earlier, we also get this redesigned launch launcher um, configuration here and anytime you scroll down and reach the end we get this yellow notification bar right there telling you that you've reached the bottom of the list that's pretty neat it's faster it's cooler die fish face give me that heart oh yeah secret time so what is our infosync diagnosis with the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play it all boils down to the fact that this phone is geared toward gamers. If you're an extreme gamer, this phone is obviously the most advanced gaming phone on the planet. But what prevents someone from getting a PSP or a Game Boy DS or something like that? Um, this is for the gamer who just can't be without any type of mobile console. Uh, you have to have it all the time. Um, the game selection offered now is decent, but it could definitely be better. We would love some Mario Brothers back from the, uh, you know, dug up from the 80s. We would love um, some Super Nintendo, some Sega, some retro games making their way back. And uh, graphics on this phone were honestly, I mean, akin to late 90s games. The Hockey Nations 2011 was like um, when I had NHL 99 for my PC back in the day. So yeah, I mean it's a fun phone. This is really a, a, an exciting phone. I love the controls on this, um, but it's definitely a niche phone. It's definitely for kids who are ultimate gamers. Um, aside from that, the Android 2.3 Gingerbread was fantastic. The rest of the phone is a stellar phone, and that's what makes the Xperia Play uh, worth it, is the fact that as a standalone phone, it definitely holds its own. For the entire Sony Ericsson experience,